Brahma created a mother, everybody's mother, is the first air bag. <laughs> you know, you'll be sitting there. Even if the car is bumping up and down, then the child will only have complete air bag protection. <laughs> Chandi, Yadi, E. Sarva Bhutish. What Rupa and Samstita? So many. Matra Rupa and Samstita. The mother, the, the Divine Mother, who manifests in the form of every mother. Have you seen that, uh, what is that uh, Disney movie? Jumbo? Elephant that elephant. Dumbo, Dumbo. 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 You know, you were, what is that? Crane or something, what was that? Yeah. Uh, which carries the babies? Yeah. Stork. Stork. Oh my God. Because it was so heavy, <laughs> it had to sit on a cloud. And when it wants to lay down, the big one was going down. Have you seen? He picks it up. So heavy, but who cares? Mother, mother cares. <coughs> wow, I have got so many small devotees. <laughs> yeah, all these Gandhi. Gandhi is the father of the nation. You know that? Yeah. <coughs> So those who are children, they can come forward and sit. You can sit, they will be, come on, friend, sit here, sit near me, give me support, <laughs> moral support, okay? Will you give me some moral support? If I feel afraid, say, don't be afraid, Swami, I am here to protect you. <laughs> They should be given some nice chocolates. Yeah. Chandra, yeah. I think, is better. You go and see how many chocolates are there. Otherwise, from the shrine room, yeah. you bring one whole bunch, yeah. and then we will give them chocolates. What's your name? Gargi. Gargi! Oh, what a name! <laughs> you know who is Gargi? Um. Me. You have to say me. Yeah. Is there any Maitreyi here? Me. Wow. <laughs> <laughs> Wonderful. Do you know who is Maitreyi Gargi? Me. Very famous people in the Upanishads. You heard about them? They had. Huh? She is my daughter Gargi. Yes, you are Gar who is wiser, Gargi or Gargi's mother? <laughs> they have got small ones also, very good. Who is Anita? Where is Anita? You are the organizer. No, not really. Like, I'm just volunteering, trying to help them to arrange this trip here. Wonderful. We have a main shikshak here, the main chief to serve you. I met him first. You can come here, Janet, if you want. Janet. Is place here? Janet. Chair is here. Okay. You sit where you feel comfortable. <coughs> So, Gargi, I am giving you a very important job. Will you please do it for me? You distribute. Only to children. Don't give to big children. <laughs> okay. Big children, one, one chocolate. No, no, give them. Take. How many you want? Two? Yes. 
take two. Take one, two, whatever you want. Your turn also will come. <laughs> Is also your daughter? What is her name? Devangi. Devangi. Why are you listening? I was telling you to take two. He says that take only one. <laughs> one, two, If dad says one, he means two. Yeah. <laughs> where is your chocolate? It will come. Chant Gayatri Mantra. <coughs> okay. <coughs> Om. Oh, 
first pillar is that only god exists no question whether he exists only god exists god only exists and his name in hinduism ishwar huh? yes but a better name is there brahman brahman is the impersonal name but there is even more devotional name is there most beautiful name krishna it consists of three words not not krishna not rama no name not shiva it consists of three words oh, oh, oh. no satchidanand satchidanand that is the word sat chitta chit and ananda now why is god given this particular name not any other name this particular name so why because if we analyze every living creature and especially human beings have three desires these three words correspond to these three desires what is the first desire of any human being Yes, hmm? yes. That means I want to live. I want to live. I don't want to die. Suppose I ask you one question. So do you want to die? What would be your answer? No. Okay. 
नेक्स्ट क्वेश्चन हाउ लॉन्ग डू यू वॉन्ट टू लिव परे सो दैट इज सत दर्ड यू नो वी यूज दर्ड सत्संग यू हर्ड दर्ड सत्संग वॉट इज दट मीन Gathering, Sangha is like getting together. Not Sangha. Sangha is different from Sangha. Sangha means society, organization. Sangha means company, holy company. <coughs> Why? Because by associating with holy people, then we also slowly become holy. If we associate with bad people. Slowly, we also turn into bad. bad people. Now, what do you mean by holy? It has. I mean, how how do we get holy company? Through many many places. One is a person, a sadhu, and the second is maybe good book. You read good book. Third is. You go to a temple. Next is you go on a pilgrimage. So how do we know which is holy company? How do we decide? Okay, let me put it in this way. How do you know which food is good for us? Which is your taste? No, 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 no. <laughs> Generally, the general rule is. Whatever tastes good is bad for your health. <laughs> Whatever is not tasty is good general good for health. Both mental health also. Okay, how do you know what is good company? How do you judge? So that's why I. Put one. Give an example. How do you know which food is good? Which is positive feelings when you have it. Yes. When you feel inspired. For example, you know, Swami Vivekananda. If you read Swami Vivekananda, or Sri Ramakrishna, or great saints like that, you really feel inspired. So that which makes us feel good. Now, before before we go into that, I have to, we have to analyze the meaning of the word sat. Understand sat? The word sati. You know sati? Yeah. Sati sakubai, sati rukma bai, Maharashtri and so many saints. Yeah. What does sati mean? Means sat means forever, isn't it, sir? No. Yeah. Sat means good. Yes. Yeah. Okay. Mm-hmm. So a a lady, a wife. Who is really devoted to her husband? She is good. She is chaste. Is why it is called sati. So the first meaning of the word sat is goodness, holiness. The second meaning of sat is related to satya. The word satya, truthfulness, is stems from the root sat. That means this is a truth never changes. What is asat? That which is not true. That which is a lie, an untruth. The third meaning of the word sati it is a name of God. The first name of God is sat. Profound words. So, how do we know? We are having good company. What is good company? That which makes us also good. What is good food? That which makes us good, healthy, strong, pure. That is the only criteria. Not how good it tastes, but what is the after result? Yeah. Okay. So that which makes us truthful, and the second meaning of word sat, that which makes us truthful. If it doesn't make us truthful, 
then that company is not really that good. What is the last meaning? Sat, name of God. That which takes us to God. Nearer to God. That is called Sat. Now you understand Sat Sangha. It could be a person, it could be a book, it could be a holy place, a temple, whichever can inspire us, make us better. <coughs> that is called Sat. So the, ultimately if you are good, what happens? You become truthful. If you are good but not truthful, then you are not good really. So goodness takes you to truthfulness and truthfulness takes you ultimately to God. God. That is why satsanga. Okay, this is first meaning. What is the last meaning? Where do you want to live? Happy. 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 Good. <laughs> so how long do you want to be happy? Forever. Forever. Excellent. How much happiness do you want? Do you want to be unhappy? No. So, what is the third name of God? Ananda. You see, what is what is God? God is forever, eternal, immortal. And God also is Ananda. Ananda means what? Happiness. Eternal and infinite happiness. happiness. That's what we want. Okay. Another word we left out. What is chit. that word? Chit. 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 What does chit mean? Mind. 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 No. Mind. Mind. No. Chit. And chitta are totally different things. In Sanskrit, chitta means mind. Chit means consciousness, knowledge. So we want, supposing you are sleepy and somebody puts a rasagulla into your mouth, <laughs> will you be happy? Why? Because, because sleep is huh? Your sleep is disturbed. No. I didn't oh. You can't concentrate. Conscious. <laughs> <laughs> I, I, so I think happiness you are having by sleeping is more than <laughs> exactly. Yeah. So and you don't want a small happiness because you are already having a better happiness. <laughs> but you know, it depends upon. Okay. You are in unconscious, yes. That is the answer. <laughs> because to know that we are alive and to know that we are happy, one more condition is necessary. What is the condition? Conscious. You have to know. Otherwise, in your sleep, if somebody feeds you your favorite sweet, it doesn't make you happy. You have to know that I am happy. So that is why the name of God is given. He who is immortal, he who is all knowledge or consciousness, and he who is all bliss. And this is what we all want. Is it not? In other words, what, you, what we want is we wish to become <coughs> That is, we are trying. We will do we succeed or not? Are we going to become Sachidananda one day? Yes. 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 Sure. How? You said that you want to celebrate Swami Vivekananda. What is the best teaching of Swami Vivekananda? Can you tell? <coughs> yes. 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 
scooter. No, no, he wants to tell. Hey, he wanted to tell something. Come on. I think the teacher says thinking of one idea and then just devote your life to that idea and until you succeed. It's very good idea. But you know, if any one of you are asked, what is the essence of Swami Vivekananda's teachings? I can tell you in four sentences. What is the first sentence? Each soul is potentially divine. That is the essence of the teachings of not only Vivekananda, not only Sri Ramakrishna, not only Hinduism, not only Vedanta, this is the essence of every single religion on earth. Every, every religion promises, if you live a good life, then what would be the result? You would go to? Heaven. Heaven means God. God. You will go to God. Is it not? That means, it is a way of saying that we are going to become ultimately divine. I told you these three desires. When you attain to Godhood, then you will realize these three desires. Now tell me, I will take you one more question. Suppose you sow an apple seed you know what is this season now? This is a season for nice fruit. What is the season for? Huh? Mango. <coughs> ah, suppose you sow an apple seed. Will it become a mango tree? No. So if you want to have mangoes, which seed should you sow? Mango mango. Right. <laughs> So, do you know what we are talking about? If you are not having the seed of divinity within you, you are never going to become <coughs> divine. Yes. That's why Swami Vivekananda said, we are all seeds of the divine. That is what he meant. Each soul is potentially divine. Now, I am going to put you a second question. If you are a mango seed, what would be the goal of your life? Yes. To earn to be a mango <coughs> And then produce what? Sweet. Mango. Ah. You want to grow? Yes. But there will be a bad thing when you get eaten. Oh. <laughs> 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 That's obvious. <so weird. coughs> Make people happy, though. <laughs> yeah, you don't you want to make people happy? Yeah. Happier? Yeah. No, no. You want to keep other people eat you. Yeah. Then you become happy. happy. Yeah. But if you eat your own self, you will become Sad. happier. <laughs> okay. What is this question I was putting? If you are a mango seed, what is the, your goal in life? To become a, a mango. mango. So if you are divine, what is your goal in your life? To, grow. Grow. to manifest our true nature. This is what we are all struggling. Somehow to manifest our true nature through various ways. This is what Swami Vivekananda said in his second sentence. The goal is to manifest this divinity within by controlling nature both external and internal. What does he mean by controlling nature external? What does it mean? Yeah. It means controlling the life outside of you, the inside you, the life that surrounds you. Yeah. The way life is around you. You know, this word control, it brings bad memories. I like Hitler, like Saddam Hussein. No. Controlling means 
we will be the masters. Nothing can deviate us from our chosen goal. See, many people have, in the Bible there is a saying, and that created and is creating lots of problems. Do you know what that sentence is? God created this whole world for the enjoyment of human beings. God created man, God created this world, and he said, this world is created for your enjoyment. That means you can exploit. Exploit what? You can exploit forests, rivers, mountains, mines, and also ultimately where does it stop? You also exploit other, other human beings, those who are weak, those who cannot compete with you. You try to control them or kill them and grab their properties. This is what is happening all over the world now. But that's not what Swami Vivekananda had meant. What did he mean by controlling nature, external nature? It means you will have the power not to be tempted by it, not to be controlled by it. You will be the master. So nothing can tempt you. What is the internal control, inner control? You know that. What does it mean? Mind control. Ultimately, control your mind. If you control your mind, you are a saint. You understand? So, can you control your wife? No. <laughs> but the answer he has given. <laughs> yeah. We know one, one man who was married, he was asked, next birth, what do you wish to be? He said, I would like to be a cockroach. <laughs> So the, the person who asked him was surprised. Why do you want to become a cockroach? <laughs> yeah, because my wife is not afraid of anything. That's <laughs> being a cockroach. <laughs> okay. Mind control. If we have mind control, the whole sadhana. You understand the word sadhana? Is meant for what purpose? Controlling the mind. mind. If you control your mind, then you reach God. So what is it that stands between us and God? What is the obstacle? Mind. Mind means desires. Desires means I don't want God. I want everything else. <clears throat> if there is no mind, you become your own self. Okay. This is the second sentence Swami Vivekananda summarized Vedanta, Hinduism. What is the third sentence? How to obtain that control? How to get that control? So what did he say? Control your mind either by work or worship or philosophy or psychology by one or more or all of them together and be free. Now tell me by work. What does he mean by work? Now among Hinduism, how many yogas are there? Hmm? How many? Four. So many. Three or four. 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 You know why? Each one of us have four faculties within us. 
what are those faculties the faculty for work then emotion then will power then intellect so activity emotion will power and intellect now what is yoga summation of all hmm summation of all no no yoga the word yoga does it mean to control your mind which helps us control our mind yoga means that which joins us with god that is god yoga you, you, you know sam yoga you heard, you heard the word sam yoga means meeting viyoga viyoga means separation so viyoga is separation sam yoga is join so if work can remind us of god that is called what is it called karma yoga if your emotion can join you with god what is it called bhakti yoga and if your will power can join you with god that is called raj yoga or also called dhyana yoga dhyana and if your intellect gnana can join you with god that is called gnana yoga now you understand how many yogas are there four karma yoga bhakti yoga raj yoga and gnana yoga so this is the sadhana swami vivekananda clarified it is not his invention he is only making things very easy for us to understand so what is the goal of life to become to know who we are and to remain and how can we do that that should be the goal of life and through mind control and how can mind control be achieved through meditation meditation no no any one of these yogas either one or two or all of them together and it will take us to god now the third question next question i am going to ask you is suppose you are doing you you all do karma yoga isn't it yes so you do karma yoga yes sir when you look up at this yes devangi you you do karma yoga you get angry sometimes yes is it karma yoga <laughs> ಹಸ್ಬೆಂಡ್ <laughs> 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 do you know why <coughs> one one why got angry with her husband so he said he said all the men are dumb she <laughs> asked why because we have to repeat everything okay he got so angry and said what did you say <laughs> <laughs> okay <clears throat> so how do you know that you are going towards god either through karma or meditation or knowledge or devotion how do how do we know we are going towards god how do we know yes ಸಚಿದಾನಿಕಟ್ ಮೀನ್ಸ್ ಯು ಗ್ರೋ ಇನ್ ಸತ್ 
you grow in chit and you grow in ananda to put it in plain english language you grow in your goodness and truthfulness you grow in your wisdom and you grow in your what is the third one happiness, happiness. this is the if you examine yourself am i becoming more and more good unselfish truthful am i growing in wisdom am i also becoming more and more happy 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 <coughs> that is how we know we are growing in spiritual life that is how we know we are progressing in life now i tell you something also suppose you are having very good health very good position lot of money good house good family good children everything good but you are miserable <laughs> yes there are so many people suffering from not only physical diseases but also more important mental diseases this is a fact because most of you i don't know may not be aware of it it is the, according to the published reports there is one in three a mental patient one in three that's why in america they say that frequently you have a check up from neck up <laughs> check up from neck up yeah so if you are growing in goodness and that is our goal isn't it and you respect a person another question i want to put in suppose you are getting bored and you want to get rid of your bored to which person do you go another boring person no. whatever it is you always go to a person or to to something which will give you more happiness, happiness. we are always attracted even if a person is having lot of money you if he is a boring person then you won't and do you know who is the most boring being on earth do you know hindus you should know god <laughs> what do you mean by that he had become a incarnated himself as a boor <laughs> one of the dashavataras is what <laughs> ah, 